guys so I'm here with another Etsy haul um, I don't think this is everything from my Etsy order um, but I I'm almost there I think I have two more items two or three more items on their way to me um, but I just thought I would go ahead and share these ones with you now. So let's get started. So the first one um, is from, I forget which shop this one is from. Hmm. I think, oh, this is from the sewing shed. The sewing shed .etsy.com. And this is a Welly Wisher dress for my Welly Wisher Willa. And if you're not sure what I mean, you can go and see my American Girl doll collection video. I'll link that for you guys. But I got this Valentine's Day dress for her for next Valentine's Day. Yeah, so it's red and then it has white and pink circles and inside some of the circles are pink hearts or red hearts. It's got this really nice kind of lacy scalloped edge and it is a spaghetti strap. Hi Riley. Um, okay, the next thing I got is from the, or from, oh, I can't pronounce it. Um, I guess I'll just put, put it on the screen. There's their website. And they gave me a coupon for 20% off the entire shop that expires this Friday. So I probably won't use it. But if any of you guys want to use it, there it is. There's the coupon code. Um, but from them, I got some more Rainbow Bright ribbon. This is a, well, I don't want to take it out of the package, but it's a different uh, pattern, actually. I'm kind of curious. Okay, I, I'm kind of curious about it. Because it's um, got all these colors on the edges. So the, the edges of the ribbon must be colored. One side is like a purple and one side is like an orangey, pinkish, reddish color. And it's basically white with little stars. And the edges are rainbows. That's what it is. The edges are rainbows. And so it's got Rainbow Bright with some sprites. And then it has the famous Rainbow Bright logo with her and Twink above the rainbow. It has her and Starlight. So again, I'm going to use that for pacifier clips and things like that. Love that. Um, the next place... Looking at this label, I think I've purchased from Little Doll Closet before. I believe I had a few items purchased from them that I had shipped to Yvonne's house in Arizona when I was staying there um, to save on shipping. I recognize the logo, so this is probably not the first time I've ordered from them. But I got some Halloween stuff, and it is Welly Wisher size as well. See how small the shirt is? So it's just an, a bright orange shirt, and it has this um, black applique on it that says boo, but instead of O's, the O's are pumpkins. So I got that shirt, and then to go with it, um, I got this cute little skirt, it's black, 
and it has candy corn all over it and it has like a black and orange checkered trim at the bottom and at the front there's like a little black and orange striped bow to the side so I just thought they originally had this paired with a different shirt but I found this one and I just thought honestly I thought they looked cute together because the other shirt they had was black with like an orange design on it um, but I thought it was too much black I kind of like the contrast of having the orange shirt with the black bottom okay and so the next item that I got is also for Welly Wishers for Willa and they are these adorable Halloween pajamas the pants are white with pumpkins and black cats and the top is the same but the long sleeved part of the top the sleeves are orange and I just thought those would be adorable especially with her red hair I mean come on <laughs> okay and then there's another Welly Wisher outfit and this one is the a blue summer romper that's shorts and sleeveless and it has pink flamingos all over it and it's got one of those like bunched waistlines like the elastic kind of thing and then the final item from this Etsy store is this beautiful yellow dress it's a sleeveless dress yellow with white flowers I just think this will look so pretty on Willa so this is the business card for the shop it's a little doll closet handmade doll clothes tooth pillows and more and it's little doll closet .com. so yeah and I can't remember, like, see, I totally didn't realize that this was a shop I had ordered from before because I don't remember if she sent me a coupon code with my last order because I may have been able to use that. But it may have expired by now, I don't know. So, anyways, moving along. The next item is from Jill Rogers Designs on Etsy. And this one is for one of my 18 inch American Girl dolls. I figured probably CC Grace because American Girl of the Year Grace uh, has a Paris theme and this is a dress with a Paris theme and it's black with white and hot pink Eiffel Towers all over it and it has a hot pink band band and bow around the waist and the back like a nice big bow at the back so um and it, it's velcros at the back so i i thought that would be really nice i hope the black won't be an issue but i think well the top part the inside is all black but the bottom like the skirt part it's not like super black inside so I don't know like because ever since I had I think it was with Grace actually CC Grace uh, that I got these little black tights for her off of Etsy and they stained her legs which I still have to work to get those off but yeah, so I'm a little leery. I was a little leery. I kept going back and forth on whether or not I wanted to buy this because of the color, but I really liked it. And my honeymoon was in Paris, so I liked that. So the next one came in an actual really nice box. The presentation is beautiful. This is from Modern Doll World. And it says, Dear Crystal, thanks so much for your purchase. Enjoy. And it just has my invoice there. But look at that presentation. It's this beautiful cardboard box. 
but they've put a ribbon, a beautiful ribbon around it, and this, they even labeled it with a sticker. It says Modern Doll World in a heart. So, see, like, those are special little added touches that I love that you get sometimes with Etsy shops. Some people really go all out with the presentation. Oh, look at that. You open it up and it's in tissue paper. It's almost like opening an American Girl Boutique box. Um, it has tissue paper that's closed again with the heart sticker that says Modern Doll World. And so you open that. And then it's a beautiful presentation. Now this is a whole outfit, guys. Look at that presentation. This is this is like very impressive. Um, this is like I said. This really reminds me of actually opening the boutique boxes from the actual American Girl store. This is amazing. So. As you can see, oh, one of the shoes was slipping out. It comes with shoes, which was also wrapped up in tissue paper with an even smaller heart sticker that says Modern Doll World. But they just, um, you can just slide the shoes out. Oh, wow, these shoes are amazing quality. Wow. So the shoes are like a, a bright pink, fake leather kind of feel. And they have these really nice jewels, like big flower jewels made out of pearls. And then all the way around them are like these little fake diamonds. And then the shoes are even lined. And it says, what does it say in there? It's hard to say something and hard as a something down. That, I don't know. It's like all these words together. My maps. Mm, something gra graph together. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of, it's like, I think it's just random words in there. <laughs> I think it's just random words that are like inside. Um, and then there's this beautiful hairband to match. Or no, actually, sorry, this is a belt. My mistake. This is a belt. So the belt is the same um, fabric and color as the shoes. It's that hot pink color. And it has a peach flower on it with the same decor that the shoes has. So you can tell these are actually handmade shoes. Um, Cause some of the Etsy shops that include shoes with an outfit just use like the Sophia boutique, like the Sophia doll shoes or whatever. But these I can tell are actually handmade. And then the dress, oh my gosh, the dress is even on like a cotton batten kind of background. And the dress is, it's like a minty color with all these beautiful white flowers that have peach and pink centers. And there's green going through the back and it is, um, oh, it even has a built-in crinoline. A little bit of a crinoline under there and it's sleeveless what a beautiful beautiful dress and this is for an 18 inch American girl doll that is that presentation blew me out of that just like is it that blew what am, what's the expression they blew it out of the park right like that presentation I mean that is boutique quality right there. That is awesome. And then the final item is not an American Girl doll item, but a Reborn item. I came across these awesome handmade rompers by a shop called Isla Boo. I believe that's how you say it. 
I S L A B O O. And anyways, I'm going to open these rompers now because I really, and I hope that the sizes I ordered are correct. Um, oh, they do look like they run big. I wasn't sure. I really was trying, like, I asked her a lot of questions about, like, measurements and things, and I was trying to figure out which sizes to go with. So, this one here says it's size newborn, but this looks like a big size newborn. So, I hope it's going to fit okay, because I had Jeremy in mind for this, and it's a gray romper with polar bears on it. And look at the way that the feet are. Now see these, if these are too long, I can simply roll the cuff up. That's probably what I would do anyway. Um, Cause there's a white cuff at the bottom of the pants. And they're kind of like overall style. So you would want to put a onesie underneath and they just have snaps at the top, but they're lined so nicely and made really well. But, um, I, I am really, I, I don't know. I, I, this might have to end up being for Landon more than, uh, Jeremy because, oh goodness. Sorry guys. My uncle is texting me. <laughs> I'm just gonna put my phone on silence there. So anyways, um, it might end up being for Landon because I think it might be too big on Jeremy. I hope the other sizes are going to be okay. This size here, I believe I ordered, this is size newborn as well. Um, so this might actually work for bigger babies. This actually might fit Maisie, which is who I had in mind originally. And then I was like, mm, maybe I'll go for a newborn so that I can have something on one of the smaller babies. But like I said, again, I don't know. It could maybe work for, I don't know, one of the neonates or Maya or something. Because see, the thing is, I think they had, I think she had one size smaller, if I'm not mistaken. She may have had one size smaller, but I thought it would be too small. Or I could be wrong. Maybe this was the smallest. But anyways, this is the same style romper, but look at the beautiful bright colors on this. It's a light blue background, but it has these pink clouds. It has uh, clouds that are just an outline of pink with black polka dots in the middle. It has these beautiful bright rainbows on there and stars. So I really liked the rainbows and yeah, just it, the quality is amazing that the fabric is so soft. And then this is the one that I believe I ordered, yeah, you know, thinking of Maisie. And this is zero to three months. So I think it's, it's going to, the zero to three months is going to be too big for her, guys. I really do think so. I could be wrong. Maybe, like I said, if I roll up the cuff at the bottom, maybe it will actually work. But this is, again, the same style of a romper, but it's a bright blue, and it has all these beautiful birds all over it. Birds and flowers and bushes and trees. I just love the bright colors. So that's what I got there. Um... So yeah, guys, that is uh, my Etsy haul for now. And like I said, I do have a couple of more items on the way um, that I'm waiting for. Uh, they should probably be here, I would say, within the next few days or sometime next week. So yeah, so I'll definitely be sure to... Um, share those with you when they come in because um, I have some more fun things coming and also I stay tuned for one other little haul um, 
It has nothing to do with Etsy, which is why I'm, oh my gosh, there is a huge spider on my wall. It just like came down on a thread from my radiator and went back up and disappeared. But it was big. Oh gosh. Oh, it's coming back down. Oh God. One second, guys. And it is dead. <laughs> My God. Guys, I hate spiders. I hate bugs in general, but spiders and centipedes are the worst. Oh my goodness. Okay. I smushed it. I flushed it. It is gone. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Whew. I don't, I, I, I'm glad it's gone. That's all I can say. I'm glad it's gone. And I'm glad I was able to kill it because for the longest time, I was so afraid of them that I wouldn't even like want to go near them to kill them. I would like spray them with bug spray until they died. <laughs> then I would pick them up. Whew. All right. Live, live video guys. <laughs> that, anything can happen when you're filming. I'm telling you guys, anything can happen. So that's that. And like I said, stay tuned for one more haul. Um, I got a couple of things from a Carter's sale. Um, but yeah, that is that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and we'll see you next time. Bye.